One of the hardest parts of creating an Excel worksheet is to get the design exactly the way you want it. That means that you need to get the appearance right, but it also means that you need to have the size of the cells exactly right so that they print properly. In this movie, I will show you how to work with the cell's contents so that you can stay within the boundaries of your existing design. I will use the wrap text sample file, which you can find in the chapter five folder of your exercise files archive. The cell's content that I'm interested in working with is in cell B2. And you can see that with the existing design of the worksheet, with the width of cell B2, which I don't want to change, the contents, which you can see on the formula bar, are not all displayed inside of the cell. So what can I do to change that? Well, the first thing I can do is click cell B2, and then on the Home tab of the ribbon, in the Alignment group, click Wrap Text. What that does is leave the width of the cell unchanged, but it finds a place to insert a break into the cell contents so that it wraps around. And as you can see, all the cell's contents appears within the body of the cell. The compromise that was made is that the cell is now taller than it was before. If you're okay with the row being taller than the rows around it, then you can use the wrap text option. But let's suppose that doesn't work. Let's suppose that you don't want the cell boundaries to change at all. If that's the case, then you can shrink the text so that it will fit within the cell. I'll show you how to do that, but the first thing I'll do is click the wrap text button to remove that effect. So now, once again, the text doesn't fit. And then with cell B2 selected on the home tab of the ribbon, I will click the alignment groups dialog box expander. That displays the alignment tab of the format cells dialog box. In the text control group, the middle option is shrink to fit. I'll check that box and click OK. Doing so reduces the size of cell B2's contents until they fit inside of the cell. So in other words, the cell boundaries didn't change either in the vertical or horizontal direction. The compromise was made by reducing the type size of the data inside the cell. So again, you can use wrap text if you don't mind having your cell increase in size vertically, or if you don't want the cell to change at all, you can use shrink to fit and get it all in there and have it all be visible.